Oh, so much better. Look how clean. Man, she got dirty from the last job. But last night I spent quite a few hours cleaning her up. So, finally clean. And today we have a couple truck projects. So, let's go over here and see what we got. Alright, so the old Silverado is going to get some accessories today. Uh, so I just bought that truck toolbox. I just needed something to keep uh, a bunch of crap organized. And um, so I bought that. And then here on the old bed rail, maybe you can see that. There's a couple of dents and whatnot in the bed rail. And... Uh, I'm going to put some bedroll protectors on here. I usually put them on my trucks. And uh, the other thing is this tailgate cap. I hate this thing. It's ugly. I'm going to put a uh, tailgate spoiler on. Because I just need more aerodynamics. You know, when you tow, you got to have the aerodynamics. So I'm going to put a spoiler on there. Hopefully I can get this thing riced up a little bit. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah. So this box doesn't work real good. The locking mechanism is flaky. But the other side works fine. You just gotta walk the whole way around the truck. And go here. Look at that. She opens just fine. Craftsman. Top quality. So anyway... We're gonna get that. Uh, the bed rail covers are factory or OEM GM bed rails. They look good. And the uh, spoiler, well, we'll just have to see what that thing looks like. So let's get to it. All right, first thing we gotta do, we gotta get that toolbox out of there. Get the bed rails cleaned up with alcohol. So let's do that. This is another thing I hate. I freaking hate that chrome. It's all, it's all jacked up anyway, inside there. I wanna fix that as well. And I just kinda temporaried this thing in there, that one little bolt. So, I'm going to get this emptied out, take the J-bolts off, and then uh, I'll be back.
All right, we got the alcohol. Let's go ahead and wipe the bed rolls down. about the uh the little uh, tie down things so let's take those off warming up here in the sun as you can see automotive 3m tape here for the uh, adhesive so let's see what happens let's get her on Pretty good, I think. <laughs> Looks nice and even. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. 
Okay. Now let's do the other side. side went good too I'm very 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 happy with that and it just makes it look so much better <clears throat> very nice there is a sticker on the back of this it had a date on it it was 4 17 17 so <laughs> it's March 2020 and uh, yeah these are made in 2017 but hey they look good they need a little bit of uh, treatment because it looks like the plastic is a little, I don't know, faded or whatever, but a little bit of hydrophobic spray wax on there and that thing will look beautiful. But I am very, very happy with it. Nice and even around the edge. This one's a little off. This side's a little thin, but that's okay it still looks good I am very happy with the fit you can tell it's an OEM product so that's good so let's get the toolbox back in um, I have to make one slight <clears throat> one slight modification because in the back of the bed the J bolt that goes back here won't fit because the bed liner is oh you know what the whole bed itself is in the way so I might have to make a new hole and put that J bolt here I didn't realize that so let's go ahead and get that done we have to drill a new hole we'll do that and we'll get the toolbox toolbox on and then we're gonna tackle that spoiler that tailgate spoiler because like I said before that downdraft Aerodynamics is all important when you're towing a rig. So let's do that. All right, so I have it marked right there. So we'll go ahead and drill it out and see what happens. Think it'll work oh look at your snotty face look at your snotty face oh buddy all right so i think that'll work let's go ahead and put the box in the truck give it a test fit and then we'll do the other side eh. yeah Haha, <laughs> I drilled it in the wrong spot. It needed to be drilled at this end, and I drilled it at the top. Haha, uh, I make mistakes so you guys don't. Well, dang it. Guck. You got your truck? Yeah? You gonna go truck driving? Yeah. Hi. Hi. All right, I got both holes drilled. Right there. That's the right one. <clears throat> That's the correct hole. It should work, hopefully. And then over on the other side, that's where I made my mistake. I put the hole there first. It needed to be there, but it should be good. So let's go ahead and get it in a truck and see if it fits.
So it'll work. It'll work. Bolts in. Put it down there just fine. So I'll get them tightened up. Put the box back together.
All right, so I was hoping I would see this. That's the magic right there. That hole. That hole. That one. And that one. So notice the holes are uh, hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon shaped. And that is what you need to really get those riv nuts or what I call a rev nut to just be simple to install. <clears throat> so that's good. I'm happy. Let's go ahead and get this crap off of here and then uh, we'll see how the old. Is that dented? Is it dented? No, that side's like that too. <laughs> Factory. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the gunk off of it and get that tailgate spoiler on. Get some aerodynamics going here. magic eraser wheel that thing's awesome big reveal huh <clears throat> here's the big reveal here's the spoiler oh look at the aerodynamics oh look how rice that is oh it looks so rice oh why would anybody do this Good. 
All right, so that's the spoiler. That's what I'm going to do. I did this on another truck. Although I didn't do the finished product. It was actually the video I did where the uh, I had the RivNut DIY tool. And, man, people jumped all over me. Why does he want to put a spoiler on his truck? Blah, blah, blah. Well, there you go. For those of you who are ignorant, this is what I meant by the GM OEM tailgate spoiler. So we'll go ahead and get our RivNut tool. There it is. Boom. The little riv nuts are in the house, so I'll go get them. Okay, so here is a normal rev nut. It's probably impossible to see that, but you can see from the outside of that rev nut how much distance there is from the outside to where the threads are. All right, it's probably maybe a quarter inch. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe. So we come over here and look where the threads are maybe you can't see but those threads are a whole lot closer to the edge to the edge of the uh, riv nut so that's the smooshing action that happens you can kind of see where the metal has smushed out there maybe hopefully you can see that but that's how it works so we got two more to put on. We will put them on and then stick the spoiler on. All right, tailgate is clean. Let's get our hole lined up. Rather difficult to do one handed here. That's nice. Just scratch the truck. Nice scratch. Yeah, there we go. That makes it look custom. Jeez. Alright, so before we tighten those down, we can go ahead and peel off the tape.
There we go. She's stuck on. Now, let's go ahead and tighten the bolts down just a smidge. And there we go. Awesome. All matching. All factory OEM. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get the back bed liner piece on. Okay, there we go. All cleaned up. Done. Looks good. I'm really happy with the bed rails. They look good. Just like factory they match the bumper which of course is factory I didn't do anything with that but tailgate spoiler looks good the sun is shining so it's nice and hot so get that tape nice and sticky I took off that stupid chrome bezel on here that looks much better I'll probably uh, color match the chrome one that I have. And then this side, it's all good. And then the toolbox is fastened. It is secured with the J bolts. So I am very, very happy to have that done. There you go.